So today we're going to think about making a map of your journey, a journey that does exist because you are where you are. You've had a whole life behind you and you're going to map that journey in an abstract way. In this lesson, the children look at abstract art and then create a piece of abstract art themselves, which is in fact a map of their life journey. So turn over the resources on your table. You don't know why the artist painted it or drew it like they did, but I want you to imagine that this, the picture you are looking at, is a map. And if the picture you are looking at is a map, what is the journey that the map is describing? Hello. Where possible, look at prints of art. Don't just use the interactive whiteboard, which I know is really easy to do. It's important that the children get an opportunity to look really closely at detail in art and become immersed in it. Why do you say disturbing? Because it's like really weird. Because it's weird. Fair enough. Birds in, what are they? In triangles. What sort of journey is this a map for? What sort of person has drawn this map? James. So, uh, something that doesn't make sense, like that's all messy, sort of like. Great. A window falling up for no reason. It's all like out of the box ideas that, think, that people think of, so like ideas that no one has ever thought of before. How are uh, they? Someone who likes an adventure. Someone who likes an adventure, great. Always be prepared to model any art activity that you have given the children to do. It's really important for them to see someone having a go and trying the activity. I'm going to start thinking about my life. I'm, I'm th looking inside my head, thinking, can I see any shapes and colours? This represents my childhood, and it was very, as I said, it's very secure, and it was very sunny and it was great fun. I asked the children to ask me about my picture to show them that everything on the picture was relevant to me. It was a map of my life journey. What's that? That is the dark woods. I, I, my school was in a wood. Yeah. I lived next to a wood and this is kind of the depth of the wood. What's that? Right, okay. That, this is college and I think that red is sort of the rest of my life from, that came out of my life of being at college. And it ended up being a bit of a frame. So to anyone else looking at that, it's an abstract piece of art. But to me, every mark and the colours have a significance. Right, OK, I'm going to put some um, pastels on the tables. You Oil pastels are a great cheap resource to always have in your classroom. They are bold, blend well and are really easy to use. The main activity in this lesson is really quick and really quite simple. The children get a great sense of satisfaction because it is a very personal piece of work that has real meaning for them and they love talking about it. Right, Kyle, just allow your hand to choose the colour. Encourage the children not to dwell too much on the spontaneous decisions they make. If they're drawn to pick up an orange pastel, encourage them to pick it up and use it. Trusting their intuitive decision-making can lead to unexpected results which ultimately will have more meaning for them. So we're going to have a gallery moment now and we're going to wander around the classroom respectfully and quietly as if we were in an art gallery. Develop a gallery eye in your class. By this I mean take time to look at a broad range of art, giving the children time to develop their own ideas about what they like and what they don't like. How are we going to be looking at the pictures? Who can share with me how we might be looking at them? Nazir? Quietly and you can't touch the pictures. Yeah, quietly and no touching. What are we doing when we're looking at the art? Jack? Trying to figure out like what they're trying to show us and what they're trying to show what art their journey is. Good. So having a look at the artwork and just thinking, what do I like and why? Use post-it praise. It's a good way to get the children to begin to articulate their thoughts and feelings. Shh, 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 shh. But who would like to share 
with the class a picture that they particularly like and why? I like Tessa's picture because it shows the um, like feelings of it and stuff. Like it shows how she moved, like how she felt when she was there. Thank you, Tessa. Could you could you hold up the picture and tell us a little bit about? This one means me. This one means my family and my house, and this one means my family generally. These mean all the journeys I've had, and these are the journeys I needed to do to have the journeys I had. Excellent. Okay.